Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to show you how to add Bootstrap to your application. Um, if you go to the website above uh, version 4 of Bootstrap, you can basically just copy the, uh, the minified CDN links directly into your application.html.erb. And that way you'll have it on every single one of your views automatically because uh, it's in your application layout. Uh, the second thing you're going to do is just add the gem to your gem file, just gem bootstrap. Um, then you want to type bundle to install the, uh, the new bootstrap gem. Uh, I think I already have it installed here so you won't see it highlighted green but uh, it's right here bootstrap version 4. So now that you have the gem installed and the CDN in your application HTML.erb, if you just refresh your web page, you'll see it's already using Bootstrap styling. So the font has already changed. Uh, even the links look different. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do, since I don't like the way it currently looks right now, is I'm just going to add some margin uh, to my entire uh, layout here for the welcome page. So all I'm going to do is just look for the uh, the root attribute, which is just going to apply it to the entire document here. And then I'm just going to add some arbitrary amount of pixels here to the uh, all four sides. So 20 pixels should be enough. And then when I refresh my web app, I can see... I have margin on all the sides. It just looks a lot better. Okay, so now that we have Bootstrap uh, in our Rails app, uh, let's go ahead and dive into some of the components and just play around with at least one of them. So looking at the components, there's all different kinds on the right-hand side. You can see you have buttons, uh, carousels, jumbotrons. Uh, jumbotron is kind of a large, a large card that has a background to it. And it has different styles of font. Uh, it's usually just a kind of in-your-face message as soon as you get to a web page. And then down below it shows you actually how to use it. So uh, just kind of illustrating its usage here for you guys. We'll go ahead and add the Jumbotron as the very first thing somebody sees when they visit our website. So if I add at the very top of the view for my welcome index view, uh, I'll just add a div of type or sorry class jumbotron I can go ahead and just literally verbatim use from their example here um, some messaging styles and things like that or sorry font styles and therefore I can just kinda copy what they have and just kinda create my own flavor of what I want for my website uh, you can do this for everything you see on the right hand side and and uh, many more so yeah it's just super useful bootstrap is it's awesome like if you're looking at creating your own website uh, it's free it's from Twitter so uh, I believe it has a free license so you can just use it uh, you know on your website no worries uh, no worries about paying them any money or anything like that so see so, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and create my fake jumbotron message here for my uh, my little shop website. Uh, in my earlier video, we created a very elementary Rails app website that we sell bike equipment, uh, bike services, and bike gear. So, uh, if I just go ahead and save this file here, well, first I'm going to actually add that horizontal uh, rule there, or horizontal line, and just copy over their button for learn more. I kind of like the way that looks so I'll just copy it over. And the cool thing about this is you don't have to add the bootstrap um, CDN with the script and the link in every single one of your views. Since you already added it to application HTML.erb layout, it's going to be in all of your uh, layouts already. So, and you can see here we've taken advantage of the Jumbotron as the welcome message to our website. Um, so yeah, it's just a really cool way of 
of adding uh, a new feature. So, thanks.